What's up, y'all? This is part two. I was going to do one whole video, but I just got chased by a damn pit bull dog from my cross street neighbors. I am this. I'm about to call the goddamn Humane Society. But I'm in the house now, girl. I was all ass up the stairs. I'm pissed. I was doing one big video. And then I was with the running child and they hit my phone and my phone cut off. And I was cussing. Okay. Oh, I'm pissed. I can't believe that. <clears throat> okay. Let's go in the kitchen. I'm finna cook me, fry me some chicken. Oh, I'm pissed. Fry me some chicken to go up my um my greens. I ain't moved that fast in a long time. <laughs> Chicken. Okay, watch the chicken now. Good I'm going to open this door. Whew. You know the deal. Larry's. Little Larry, Larry. Little garlic, garlic. Little pepper, pepper. You know the pepper. What is this? Garlic pepper. Now I use some. Oh, and that comes out too. Little garlic pepper. That's it. Get a bag. I told y'all my huh. I'll be damn. Oh no. No bags red. I can't take that. I'm throw that away. I always keep my bags the chicken come in at Walmart it's for my flour. All purpose flour. I use one a certain amount of times and then I throw it away. I see some woman talking about you ain't need to use your flour one time. Girl, please. I never got no money like you got money. I'm running around now spending all that money and wasting all that money on there. We from the country. Old school, put that shit in a bag, flour your chicken, and put that shit in the refrigerator. Sift it first, take all the chunks of meat out of there, and throw that meat shit in the, and put your damn shit in the refrigerator. Okay. Only people that are getting paid and making money, uh, especially now, do that shit. So, girl, we understand you got corn. We don't. Yeah, I said it. Same thing with grease. We keep our grease. We got grease pads. I can show you three of them right now. And when you cook your uh, greens and you put that uh, that grease in there that you're going to use to fry your chicken and your pork chop and put them in that greens with that fat bag. Best greens of your life, y'all. Y'all ain't cooking. 
You know, I'm doing all that new school fancy shit. I'm an old school country bitch. You know how to throw down all day long in a skillet. Mm. to get hot. Okay, y'all, let's put this chicken in the tree and fry this chicken. Okay, my grease is in the, um, my grease. <laughs> my fried chicken is in the pan. I'll be back. Okay, let's check our chicken. <clears throat> or turn it over, rather. Can y'all see? Let me bring it closer. Fresh peppers out of somebody's garden that my dog. What is that? A, all of these are peppers? Yeah. Hmm. 
Ganyan ang piyato. Chicken is done. I just took some greens out, put them in this one, and now I'm gonna wall this one. Let me back when that start cooking. Okay, let's look. Oh, she boiling. She boiling. It's not doing it for the day. we go. Bon appetito. Okay, y'all. I'll fix my plate. I gotta take my medicine first and then I'm gonna eat. i put my medicine in here. I'm gonna try it last because it's so depressing taking medicine. I hate medicine, but I need to get in shape. Can somebody help me get in shape? <laughs>
can eat. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I done took my medicine so I can eat. This is my plate. Just some fried chicken and greens. I'm going to put some of this is jalapenos and vinegar. I'm going to put some of this on there. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely going to put some of this on there. Mm -mm. Mm. Yum yum, give me some good bread, good me, good Lord, let me eat. Mm. See, this is all the stuff that's going on with these restaurants. I don't fool with them. I only go out to a restaurant if I'm with a bunch of my a group of my friends and they want to go. Other than that, I can't stand it. The food is never good. If I can cook at home and my cooking at home tastes good, I really don't want to go to the restaurant. But I'll go because my friends are gone and I'm hanging out. Between the attitudes and the bad food and the long waits and the... Every time you turn around and you want some, you got to look around and... I, no, I'm good. I eat at home, baby. My, cause my cooking is, is amazing. Oh. And I got um, lemon lime Kool Aid and homemade lemonade mixed together. Sure, I cook at home and eat at home, baby, because I'm a cook. So, bon appetito. What are we gonna talk about? I don't know what we're gonna talk about. Um, I just talked about the restaurants, and it's not just in Atlanta; it's everywhere. And the service is bad because they don't want to pay the people. I do not believe in going to no job and you ain't getting paid enough money where you can't afford to live. If you can if you cannot afford to pay people the money that they need to be paid to live a okay, comfortable life, then you should be in fucking business. I'm sorry. And they should also have insurance. So in other words, no job should be under twenty, twenty five dollars an hour. And that's base pay. That's living on the line of poverty. All this 10 and 11 and 12 and 13 and... No. It's 2023 and everything is high. So your pay should be high. If your groceries is high, your pay should be high. It's your job. And let's be very clear. If you didn't have people working at that, at that plant or that place, you would not be open. That's what I think people got to realize. People, I don't think they realize we got the upper hand. If we just band together, they would have no choice but to upraise. They would have no choice. Like hotel workers. Don't get paid no money. And that's one of the nastiest jobs in the world. Between the nasty people that work, that come to the state, the nasty attitudes they got. And clean, listen, if you cleaning up behind somebody's ass, you deserve a whole bunch of goddamn money. Because that shit is disgusting. You deserve a whole bunch of money. Working at a hotel for $10 and $9 and $12, hell no. That's a $20, $25 job. Cleaning up behind nasty ass folks. And they don't want to give you no money. And then clean up at these hotels where they got, um, what is it, pet friendly. That means you clean up after dogs and cats too. Nah, bitch, you need to pay me. Mm -mm. No, if it, oh, everybody quit, I guarantee you they'll come up on that shit then. But people won't do that. A couple of places is doing it, and I love it. I love it. Mm. Oh, so good. So good. In that, that crunch. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. <laughs>
What's got me? Oh, making a style new song. Love it. Very vulnerable. It's a shame. It doesn't matter. It does not matter how you look. These motherfuckers still gonna cheat. It don't matter. It don't matter how you look, how you keep up yourself. That's why I always tell people. Keep yourself together. Have your shit together. So when they do cheat and you dip on their ass, you know you ain't do shit wrong. You was together. Mm. All the shit they do, but they still classify black women as angry black women after all the shit that black men done put them through. Um, mm. Oh, this is amazing. Mm. 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 <clears throat> Ooh, that's good. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Let's go. Ooh. Let me turn that up. Oh, my son's bought a t-shirt. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> oh, that was busting. Oh, we're busting. Mm -mm. Cheers to a good goddamn home-cooked meal. Damn these restaurants, a home-cooked meal. And raise the minimum wage, raise the pay. People got to live. I'm your boy, Ray Lareo. Love yourself and live your life. I'm out.